everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by simply utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we only have new information on Time of Legends Joan of Arc and Hell the Last Saga, so let's get to it. For Time of Legends Joan of Arc today, we've heard your questions and concerns about the project and we'll endeavor to answer a couple of them here today. First, concerning the additional rules found in the expansions used in the scenarios, they were included in the scenario collection book along with the scenarios in which they're used. So for example, you'll have a section of rules used specifically in the Legendary Battles preceding the Legendary Battles scenarios. There are also a few fresh new links to the 1.5 rulebook in French and English in the description below, so you can check those out if you'd like. Now concerning where we are in the production phase of the project, the PPC materials we received from the factory in the form of large printed rolls of paper included every printed element in every expansion and pack in the Pledge Manager. Our proofing of those materials revealed some coloring and formatting errors, but all of those have been fixed and validated. Our production manager further reports that we have given the factory the green light for mass production three weeks ago, are approximately 50% done with production at this point, and that almost all the plastic is already injected. His best guess estimate is that we should finish production in July. Of course, we'll have more information for you as production continues and eventually comes to an end concerning next steps. For Hell the Last Saga today, we wanted to first thank you for your support and understanding following our last update. Your trust is truly a driving force for us and we're committed to updating the progress board on a monthly basis. With that being said, we don't have much to add this week. The team is currently working on updating the virtual prototypes and setting up feedback files for follow-up after the playtests. We're going to use custom forms hosted by Google to collect and analyze that data. We've also received the secret figurines and other surprise documents that will be unearthed by the heroes during the campaign, but unfortunately we can't show them to you. It's hard to share these advances sometimes with without having any tangible thing to show you. But realize, they are happening. As for some smaller, more concrete things, in the absence of cardboard tokens, since they're going to be replaced by plastic tokens, we've revised their icons to indicate their presence in the texts. And we've also changed the Saga tokens, which are shown in the top line of the picture. Also, regarding the questions about the three cloth bags provided in the game box, their use has been revised. The first one will be used to store the threat counters, but are not intended for drawing them randomly, since they are double-sided and are supposed to be placed hidden. On the other hand, the second bag will be used to collect plant tokens and will finally be used to draw them from the bag. And finally, the third bag will contain teeth, but we can't tell you more about this. You simply have to discover it in the game. Finally, many of you have asked us about the status of our pledge manager. Of course, it will remain open until the last moment when we must send the files to the factory. For those of you who are still hesitating about certain items, such as the deluxe storage box, uh, questions about the weathering and so forth, Rest assured that we will post specific updates about these items as soon as we can get documented and illustrated feedback from the factory. So we'll see you back here in a couple of weeks for another update. Take care. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in there if you have any questions or if you just want to see what he might spoil. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care.